So, hello everyone. Wow. <laughs> so, while we're waiting for the presentation to actually show on, uh, on the screen, I briefly present myself. Uh, I'm Luca Martinelli, also known as Sanita. Uh, you can see it from my, from my placard. Uh, I'm a Wikipedian since 2006, and so, yeah, I'm a bit old. Uh, and uh, I'm also administrator on uh, Italian Wikipedia and on Wikidata since the very start. So, if you have questions about Wikidata that Asaf didn't uh, talk to, uh, told you about, just feel free to ask me. Well, just a little bit. Well, I still have. Uh, I haven't finished my presentation anyway. So. Um, that's for the volunteer part, and if you have questions about Wikidata, please ask me, because I, will, I can help you, at least in English. Uh, as for the project today, in, uh, in fact, I'm also, uh, ha I also have a work presentation, which is, I'm from uh, since last year, since January 2021, I work for, for a Wikimedia Foundation, which is the non-profit that, I, oh, there we go that runs the, the Wikimedia projects and the software and the, uh, sorry, the uh, servers and so on. And I am a community relation specialist, meaning I am the counselor of the projects in what, rem in what relates to uh, relations to the communities. I am the one that goes to your communities, ask for feedback, ask for ideas, asks for what we can improve and uh, relays back that to the project to the uh, to the um, to the project team. So today I'm going to talk you uh, about <laughs> today I'm going to talk you about structured data across Wikimedia, which is a three-year project that started last year and will end next year in June 2023. It is the successor of structured data on Commons, meaning uh, basically that in the last. Uh, uh, three years b before this project, uh, they ran another project which, uh, which added the possibility to, uh, to Wikimedia Commons to add structured data. Basically, Wikidata, but for Wikimedia Commons. All images, and I will show you that in my presentation, can now have structured data about what they depict and who took that uh, image and so on and so forth. Structured data across Wikimedia builds on that experience and tries to do more things with structured data. And that's why I'm here. Basically, oh, okay. So these are uh, our um, goals as a project, which are to give you a more inviting and more efficient way to search for content, to allow machines to recognize our content in a better and structured way and suggest relations to other content and mostly I will talk in mostly about images today so what I'm meaning here it's finding uh, finding relations between text and images and then design a way to structure articles and pages to enable new content formats not just adding new text and adding new images, but also try, well, maybe in the future, new formats to add content. And the first thing that I'm going to talk to you about is media search, which is basically what came before structured data across Wikimedia. Media search is this, uh, this interface that you can see on the Wikimedia Commons, and it's basically, whoops, sorry, you can no, no, I just well. put it on the podium. Well, okay. Sorry again. No, it's okay. So, sorry, that's my first presentation in real life after five years, and it shows. <laughs> also, I forgot. Thank you in advance to the translators who are doing a great work, and I hope to, to talk slowly and explicitly uh, just to make you understand better. 
So basically, Media Search is uh, the new interface of Wikimedia Commons for finding images. And it makes it easier to find images because it works on structured data. And it's, uh, as you can see here, language agnostic, meaning that you can finally search images in your own language and find them. And of course you can also have filters, uh, like licenses, you can put, like, if you want, you can search only for CC by SA images, or CC by, so Creative Commons attribution with the same license. You can, you can search for public domain, you can search for other licenses, you can search for all the, type, uh, all the file types. You need a JPG, because you need a JPG, you can find it, or PNG, or SVG, or GIF, or well, whatever. And you can also find it for image size. Maybe you have to do a story on Instagram and you need a particularly sized image. Or you need something for your presentation. So you need a bigger uh, uh, high definition image. You can filter that with, uh, uh, with, um, um, with media search. So basically, how does it work? It uh, runs a query, Media Search runs a query, so basically what Asaf showed you today, but in a different way. So Media Search runs the query for you. You don't have to type the, the Wikidata item in it. You just have to type cat or horse or goat or your favorite poet, I don't know, in, in, the, uh, in, the, in the search uh, engine. And it will look for all the images that have statements and captions that match what you're looking for. But not just that. It looks also for Wikidata labels. It looks also for the categories that are on that page. So it expands the search in order to just not give you the very most relevant images, but also other images that the previous uh, search engine didn't give you. And as I said, it works in every language. So if you want to if you want to look for images in Turkish, in Bashkir, in Kyrgyz, in Kazakh, in, uh, in Georgian, in Azeri, in Italian, so on and so forth, you can. And I show you just a little just a little uh, comparison here. So this is the, the oops, this is the old version. As you can see, you can, you can put sunspot and you have like a thousand results with sunspots in, uh, sunspot in the title. There's also a boat called sunspot. In, in the, in the, you're not looking for, for the spots on the sun, so the, the actual astronomical thing. It, it just gives you everything that its name is sunspot. But if you run the same query in Dutch, with Zonnevik, the only image that show you that shows you is this one. So you have thousands of um, hundreds, well, of images in, in English, but only one in Dutch. With Media Search, what happens is that if you look in Dutch, you actually get more results because what happens uh, it doesn't it, it doesn't show very very well but it shows it, uh, it it it can be better so in the presentation so you can you you're free to download it after uh, after i'm done here here exactly someone added a statement to this particular um, to this particular image saying this depicts a sunspot in this image is present uh, uh, uh, there there is a sunspot and what do, what media search also does is to as i said is it looks on the wikidata labels so you enter the wikidata item for sunspot it goes to the to the to the item looks zonovic from dutch and says Okay, I found it. That's what I want to say. That, that's what I wanted to. I can uh, now. I, I get what you mean. I'll show you all the all the images like this. And also, Media Search is the new interface if you edit with Visual Editor. Uh, if you don't know what Visual Editor is, is basically the easier interface 
that you can use when you edit Wikipedia. Instead of the code with all the brackets and the, and the apostrophes and, and stuff, Visual Editor gives you uh, a more easier way to, uh, to edit Wikipedia and it also shows Media Search as the primary search engine for images, which means you can find easier your, your image that you're looking for. But, and that's the catch, we need your help. Media search needs your help. Add descriptive titles to images. When you upload images, not, just don't use DSC number. When it, just try to express what's in the picture. Add the, add the captions in your own languages, in your, in your native languages. Add description, detailed descriptions. Uh, as much details as uh, possible. Add the categories, oops, at the end, here. Add as many categories as, as possible. Add the, the pics stat statements, so that your media, and maybe someone else's media, can be easily re found by you and other people like you on your projects. So media search still needs some help, and as I have put it, we do this work. It's me and you that, that, that, that, does, that do this work. So this is just a bit of uh, statistics, just to brag about our results. Uh, as you can see, the most important is that search sessions increased by half. It means that half more, that 50% more persons are actually looking for more images. Media search made a change for the better in looking for images. And of course, it can be installed as the main uh, version, uh, as the main version of search experience on your Wikipedia. Portuguese Wiki News asked us to install it as their main way. So, if you want to, just reach out to me, and I can help you with setting it up. So, very briefly on uh, search improvements, which is the first goal of, uh, of structured data. Uh, we have two main objectives. I'll, I'll be very quick uh, about this because it doesn't really relate to Wikidata. It's something that we are doing, but it doesn't really relate to Wikidata, so I'm going to be, be very short about this. Uh, we're going to, we are working on uh, um, getting a better interface for special search, making, making it more, uh, I can, uh, how can I say it? Well, better looking for people who are not hardcore Wikipedians like us. And uh, also creating a search preview panel for each result that will show key information about what you're looking for and displays also links to other projects from Wikipedia to the sister projects like Wikibooks, like Wikinews, like Wikidata, Commons, and so on. So very briefly, we ran already a request for comments in the last day, in the last uh, uh, months. We asked for several changes, like changing the color for some some uh, messages to something more Im important, like collapsing the advanced search. And the results are that we are going on with five improvements, which are the article thumbnail, so a little preview of an image for articles. If there is an image of an article, we take an image and we use it as a preview. Uh, of course, we gave more space to sister projects in, uh, in, special, in special search, because guess what? People, usual people, casual readers, do not know that there are other projects than Wikipedia. So we are saying there are other projects. You can search for what, you lo for what you're looking for also on other projects, and th that's what we are trying to do. Uh, of course, the search preview panel, the results metadata, and the color of, uh, of the message, which was turned from red to blue, because red is our code name for this doesn't exist. So we changed it to blue, meaning maybe it's not an article, but what you're looking for exists in another article. That those those small, small changes are important for casual readers to actually understand what, that what they are looking for is actually on Wikipedia. 
And of course, some of the improvements were put on hold, meaning that we will probably not do them or we will re-evaluate them uh, in the near future. Another thing that we are going to do is this, is the search preview, which you can see here. So basically you click on one of the results and a little box on the right appears with uh, as um, the lead um, with the lead sentence from the article, an image, several metadata about the article like the table of content and of course if there are links to the sister projects. Again, we are trying to make sister projects more visible to casual users. Uh, this is scheduled to go, to go live uh, in late November on Portuguese, Russian and Indonesian Wikipedia. These are the three communities that we are working with for basically most of our uh, improvements uh, and we will test it there. If it goes well, then we will ask other communities to join. And we are also working with contractors to develop tools that can uh, get, uh, yeah, tools and gadgets that can experiment with structured content and, of course, again, get better results when it comes to that. Uh, the first one is View It. You can see here, oops, uh, you can see here that I put you the link to the tool. It has been developed by three Wikipedians. So go take, a, go take a look. It is live on English Wikipedia. So if you want to try it, just go to, the, to this page that I linked it here. Uh, it's easy to install and you can try it on English Wikipedia. And now to the bigger part of the presentation, which is image suggestions. But before that, is there any question that you want to ask? Because I for, uh, since I am very nervous today, I completely forgot that you can ask a question whenever you want. If, does, if something is not clear, please stop me and ask me again. So are you still also awake? Because that's, that's something that, uh, that it's important to know. Okay, you're awake. I see. I see that you that you move, and uh, unless you're moving in the, uh, during your sleep, for it's now. okay. Yeah. Now. For now. Yeah. Give me ten chips to go to. Yeah, come eat lunch. Uh, yeah. <laughs> exactly. That's after lunch. It's uh, it's always a bit you know complicated. I know that it's complicated for, to have a presentation right after lunch, but it's even be it's even worse before lunch because you're hungry and you really want it to finish very quickly. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, image suggestions is, sec is uh, the second goal of Structured Data Cross Wiki, which means allow machines to recognize Wikimedia content and suggest relation to other Wikimedia content. So, what's the problem? We have 60, more than 65 million of images on Commons, but half of Wikipedia articles do not have an image. That's a problem. Why is that? Possibly because the search engine doesn't give you uh, the, exact, uh, the exact results that you're looking for. That's something that we already fixed in a way. But another thing that doesn't work is that probably, well, very likely, me and you, we don't know how, what images are out there. We, we need to know that there are potential images that might be useful for some articles. So what we did with structured data is to make this kind of process easier. We want to make it easier for, for people to add images, also because we think that we can diversify better our, pro, our content and help new editors to understand better Wikipedia and uh, help getting new editors on board. So this is a, I'm not going to interrogate you on this, don't worry. Uh, so this is basically how it's going to work, but here it's probably much easier to understand. So what we are doing is we, give, uh, we, are, we tested on, uh, on the three Wikipedias I already told you, Portuguese, Indonesian, and Russian. We experimented with notifications. So. A user who had at least 500 edits on their project 
and had some articles in their watch list. You know that you have a watch list. You can put your, uh, your articles in a special page that says, okay, this, edit, uh, this editor came to, uh, came to visit that article and made this edit. That's the watch list. So if you have uh, articles in your watch list and you have more than 500 edits on Wikipedia, you are uh, eligible to get this notification up to two per week. A notification that tells you most, um, very simply, hey, I saw that you have this, uh, this article in your watch list and I have a potential image for this article. Please review it. Just look at this picture, tell us if it's a potential image for to be added to your article. If it, if it is, add it. If it not, just say no. And we will not bother you again with this, uh, with this kind of uh, suggestion. Of course, and this comes immediately because we already knew about how this uh, feature would be accepted by hardcore Wikipedians. I am one of those, so I already know about that. We don't want to encourage bad edits. So, of course, we are targeting only experienced users for this. We are saying, okay, you have done 500 edits on Wikipedia. You know how it works. You have articles in your watch list. You know how it works. And potentially, you know about this topic. Because maybe you created this article or because you edited this article. So you know about this. And you may, you may be probably the best person to know if you can add this image or not. Of course, we don't want to go against local policies. We don't want to uh, introduce additional bias. We don't want to create a tool that doesn't get used, which, spoiler, it was used in the last uh, two months, so at least that is, is, is, is it's okay. And of course, we didn't want to annoy you with many notifications. Notifications can be turned off, of course. If you, if you feel that it's too annoying, you can just go to your preferences and uh, say, no, I don't want that anymore. You can untick the thing. And these are the results, as I, as I said. In the, um, basically, it was tested in the last two months on these three projects. And uh, overall, 505 new images have been added on Wikipedia with 0% of revert rate. This is something that I cannot believe. In, in 16 years of Wikipedia, I've never saw something that works this good. We haven't added many images, in my, in my opinion. We could have done better on this side. But the 0% rate means that all the images that have been added were sufficiently good that no one decided to actually cancel them. So it's, it's, really, a great, it's really a great result that we, we, we expected like a 1% to 2% rate revert. So we said, OK. For sure, some of the images will be reverted because someone will make a mistake. It didn't happen, which is absolutely great. And so we now plan to expand uh, this, uh, this tool to other communities, which are Catalan, Finnish, Hungarian, Dutch, and Norwegian Wikipedia for the time being. We expect uh, this, um, these communities to be on board uh, by the, the beginning of November. Hopefully, but if you want to test image suggestions on your Wikipedia, I'm here. I'm, I'm willing to listen. If you're interested to this, if your community might be interested to this, please let me know. Because it works and it doesn't, uh, it is not too much annoying, of course. And I can help you with uh, setting it up. Yes? Um, do we have a microphone? <coughs> Thank you. Quick, quick question. Maybe you could say what it involves so that people can think about whether they want it to try it in their community. Is there a lot to translate, for example, or something like that? What, what does the community Excellent. need to think about before it decides to talk to you and say, yes, we want this? 
Excellent question, and I'm not I'm not parroting you. I, I do really think it's a, it's an excellent question. So, the interface it's very easy to uh, to translate. There are just four to five messages tops that you can go and translate on Translate Wiki, which is our project to localize the messages. So it's just four messages. Um, and then basically you just have to um, there's nothing more actually to because all the all the tech all the tech part it's on us we uh, we can uh, uh, evaluate that the only thing that you have to do is actually wait for this notification to come every week you uh, you will receive up to two not only two notification at the very most every week that's it and you say yes or no all the rest and of course if you find that uh, there are problems like uh, every no every notification that you get is wrong you come you can come to me and tell me hey this thing doesn't work i don't know why but i keep getting uh, wrong images like uh, graphic uh, like graphics uh, and and they want actual uh, actual notifications so uh, it could be it could be like this it happened on russian wikipedia mehman actually uh, helped me uh, collecting feedback there so uh, whatever feedback you have i'm here Mesela Portekiz e, de uygulanan bu e, testin e, önerilen e, görüntü başka bir ülkenin e, wikisinde yer alan görüntü müydü yoksa Portekiz wikisindeki farklı bir konuda yer alan bir görüntü müydü? I need some help in translation. <gülüyor> like he asking uh, if the image was uh, go to the Portuguese port port port Wikipedia, it comes from the in our uh, Wikipedia article, like in our in Wikipedia image, it or what? So uh, if I got uh, if I got it right, uh, the notification. Uh, I'll go back to the to here. So basically, uh, how it works? Um, because I. I didn't explain it very well. I'm sorry. Thank you for your question because actually I can explain it better. So um, we understand that we, the, the tool works like this. On Portuguese, Russian, and Indonesian Wikipedia, they find the tool finds an, an article that has no images, goes to the Wikidata item, and checks if there is an image, P18, or if there is a commons category, P373, or if there is a lead image on other Wikipedia. Lead image meaning uh, an, an image on the top, uh, in the top right in, on other Wikipedias. So say, okay, let's try as best as possible to find some media. If it, if, um, and then, of course, it filters the, the, the image, because, of course, it can be a placeholder. Like French Wikipedia has lots of placeholders saying this article does not have an image, and uh, they have an image for that. Of course, if it, founds, if it finds such an image, say, no, this is, <laughs> this is definitely not an image, so we don't need it. Uh, it it uh, takes out the flags, takes out the map, so it gives uh, it give you proper images for that article. Of course, it also when when every if if it doesn't find an image or a commons category or a, or a lead image for for in another other in another article, it search on media search. So it goes back to what I uh, to what I told you. Basically, it goes on media search, so tries for that particular Wikidata item, and tries to find something. So that's how you get the notification, and that's how you can evaluate then the, the image. I want, to, I want to follow up on that. I think uh, if I understood the question, yes, this flow can result in your wiki receiving a suggestion based on an image from another wiki, but that image has to be on commons. So one thing to add here is that some wikis have local uploads that are only on that wiki. Those images will not automatically be moved to your wiki, right? This, this is only searching commons. No, no, no, no. In fact, it's only on commons. Yeah. 
the images are only on commons because of because of course we're looking for free media so we need to be sure that they have a, co a creative commons license or a public domain or something like that of course something from portuguese wikipedia can be uh, can be suggested for turkish wikipedia but th there are two things to think first of all if it gets suggested it means that someone else think that is a good image for that article first of all and second of all it's a suggestion you can say no you can say no this pair doesn't it doesn't work because I found because I can find a better image or because we already have an image and you can say no so it's it's not mandatory to to accept the, the notification there's an okay. Uh, okay this is um, so there is a I'll come to you for after that. No, there's okay. So uh, for every image and every article, there will be only one couple, and it will be only one. So, of course, there can be many suggestions for a particular article. Uh, but that uh, every time they will give you just one pair, just one image per time. So you have a, an, an article about. What's the, uh, the algorithm? Yes, it's uh, randomly changed. It's uh, so uh, as I said. It finds an, arti an, an, uh, un, uh, an, an article that ha doesn't have images, finds an image, and then says, okay, I have a potential pair. This is the article, this is the image. Do they match or not? That's what, uh, what, that was it does. If you say, so and it's random. It's random, but it's based on the fact that it's looking for that particular article. So it's not a random image like... Yani birden fazla seçenek olsa da en doğruyu sonuçta konuyu biz biliyoruz. En doğru seçeneği biz mesela 5 tane içerisinde en doğrusunu seçsek böyle olsa işte öyle bir çalışma onu bir Yes, if there are many options, it will pick only one, and then another user will get another pair, and another user another pair, and so on until we uh, until we finish both the articles or the image. So if you you get possibly, possibly not necessarily on the same article. If you but if you refuse a particular suggestion, it means that particular image for that particular article is not a match and the system will say okay it's not a match i will not ask uh, ask it anymore i will ask for another image yeah that's again to better to better find content you have to to be explicit on commons so you have to curate data on commons so that media search and image suggestions will give you the the correct uh, the, the correct uh, pair as of now it seems that the, the image suggestion anyway works i'm but there's there's always a first time for everything so yeah yeah uh I understand that uh, you are trying to improve how images are searched and found mm -hmm. and uh, how images are used in other projects like Wikipedia mm -hmm. and uh, try to uh, make more use of images in Wikipedia articles, which is a very good uh, improvement, a good effort, I think. But uh, this is a very difficult area for uh, Wikipedians. First, uh, uh, it is uh, much more difficult uh, to upload images to Wikipedia, uh, Wikimedia Commons because it's very complicated structure. I mean, I can write a new uh, Wikipedia article and do many things but when I come uh, to Wikimedia Commons it's a really difficult task to go through and 
and it is, it, it is changing and making more uh, complicated. One of the problems I face, for instance, uh, I have a photo, uh, uh, mm -hmm. a real photo, uh, but I don't know when it was taken, whom, uh, who took this photo, and so license uh, problem uh, is very difficult uh, for us to overcome at the moment. Uh, this a little bit uh, sounds off the track, uh, it's okay. maybe, but uh, Wikimedia Commons licensing policy is uh, too rigid for us to upload more images, which otherwise would could be uploaded safely, I think, uh, like in other uh, uh, sites, uh, domains, uh, unless they are disputed. The, the, they can be uploaded and uh, uh, uh, at the first objection uh, they can take it down uh, I know this the first thing second to improve the search uh, we enter certain information like description mm -hmm. uh, but uh, we don't have too much time or we don't know too many languages and we just uh, put in uh, the description in one language or in two languages uh, perhaps the search could be improved if uh, somehow uh, other language uh, translations could be at least temporarily auto-translated. So that, for instance, if there is no description in Turkish, I search for something, and uh, if the, the, the, the image uh, I wouldn't see, I guess, but uh, if there is at least some auto-translation temporarily, I could get this image uh, uh, as well in the search results or I don't know if it's correct Okay, so about pol uh, licensing on commons I feel that I feel that very hard <laughs> <laughs> so Commons is it's, yeah, Commons is, is a kind of compli is, a, is a complex project but that's the point admins there have a point in being extremely strict about licensing Sometimes too much. <laughs> Sometimes too much because uh, they, they, it's it's a long-term uh, problem with uh, Italian photos of uh, yeah. of monuments and, and stuff. Is that we keep sell, telling them they are, uh, some monuments are authorized. Please don't delete them. <laughs> it's like so. Uh, unfortunately, all the work. Yeah. All the work. Of course, that's, that's a point. But anyway, it's, this is a, this is a problem that unfortunately we cannot solve as a, a structured data across Wiki project because this is a, this is something that pertains to the community, and of course we can we, we don't want definitely and uh, to enter in a conflict with uh, with the Wikimedia Commons admins, not at all, not at all. And also, I mean, they are right to be strict. But unfortunately, yes, this is a problem, and we are losing content. I know that. It's unfortunately something that we have to deal with, and the only solution that I found in 16 years is to do some more research about what I upload and to be extremely sure about what that I put all the description in the languages I know, I put structured data, I put everything so that I can say you cannot delete this. Uh, for search experience, um, I almost forgot what I wanted to say, uh, in a way uh, the auto translation is already there, let's say, with media search, because uh, it's not uh, uh, it's not needed uh, for uh, in, for uh, for you. You don't need to uh, to go and translate every single file in your language, which is by the, uh, which Turkish. Okay, so you don't need to localize every single description in Turkish. What you need is to see if there is a label on Wikipedia on Wikidata. Of course, if you can add descriptions and captions on, on in Turkish, please do so. Because of course, but you you can do only this much. I know because it, it, it's the same for me. I can only do this much in Italian for, for what it's worth. So, unfortunately, you have to rely also on someone else's work. And uh, what is the good news is that most of the work on Wikidata has already been done. 
So if you add a depict to a particular uh, to a particular uh, image, that means that someone has already translated something in Turkish, and you will find that particular image if you look for that in Turkish. So the second pro the second question is has been partially partially maybe half me, less than partially already answered, but. I mean, there, as, as I said, there, there are problem, there are um, ways to get better, but unfortunately, that passes through getting involved ourselves and to add what what's missing. And I know it's it's it's a lot of things. And I know that sometimes you you prefer to watch a series instead of adding captions on Wikimedia Commons. I know that, I feel that. So, but that's that's unfortunately the only the only answer that I can, that I can give you. Uh, you? Sure, sure. I, I have a question about the first part because uh, now that I see my suggestions, I think it is an exciting uh, improvement, but it relies on the data inserted before. And uh, at the moment, the, there is a backlog of uh, structured information for the already uploaded image. So is there a process for improving them, like an uh, image processing, image recognition? Uh, for example... Uh, there is a, a tool on Wikidata, as you know, Wikidata game. Then you can easily choose uh, statements with that tool. There, is there a process of image recognition like we can create a tool like that? Okay, so as far as I know, there are not so many tools Where? for... Uh, sure. sure. There are one tool. I have a game. Uh, this is Depictor. Depictor. There is a one tool for the uh, structured data. Yes, I okay. uh, I learned to do. Uh, uh, Andrew Lee. They are making the one program. Right. Yeah. Wikipedia. Wikipedia. Wikidata Weekly. Uh, I learned from there. Uh, Depictor. What is the one tool is the uh, working? And I open it the, on my phone now, and uh, there are only. 400 people use it uh, anymore, but it's very uh, funny. Uh, it is uh, using in a mobile phone even. Uh, sometimes I'm making the, that uh, structured data, data with the, the picture. I can uh, suggest to everyone. I think you have your answer. <laughs> So anyway, no. By, uh, by the way, jokes apart, uh, just share the tool in the in the chat, yeah. and of course, try to do some some edits on this. Uh, as far as I know, there are there is another tool which is ISA ISA, uh, which works on uh, on adding structured data. Uh, I will put the the link in the in the chat as soon as I get back to my um, to my laptop. So these are the two tools that uh, you can use to, actually, to, to add structured data in, a, in an easier way. Uh, other than that, I don't know if there are other tools, but definitely it's something that, the that we, should talk, we should talk with the community. Maybe, maybe, uh, if it's going to be possibly some, some grants, you can, you can as, uh, well, one solution to this is what is doing what Asaf told us yesterday. Say it out loud. Express the need for a structured data tool that helps people to add structured data on commons because we need it. And someone will make a tool or will ask for a grant to make a tool about this. Unfortunately, since the project is about to end next June, I really, I, I surely, don't, I surely know that we don't have the time to cover this too because we already uh, have lots of work to do until until June, and so we cannot cover this. But this is something that we can probably solve as a community. Any other questions? So, first, oh, and thank you very much for your questions because I, I, I'm almost done with my presentation. So keep them coming. <laughs> Ya benim şöyle bir e, sorum var. Şimdi bu o, resimler yüklenirken IP ile e, yazdığı makale birbirine uyup uyumadığını, bunun bir ölçüsü var mı? Çünkü mesela ben bulunduğum il hakkında hiç alakası olmayan birisi ta uzaklarda bilgi yüklüyor. Ben bakıyorum yani her türlü şartı yerine getirmiş, resmini de koymuş ama hiçbir bil, yani o bilgi yanlış. Yani bunun bir ölçüsü var mı? Bunu yani niye göre doğru yanlış? Ben müdahale edemiyorum mesela. Tam, tam, tam, tam, tam, tam, tam, tam. 
Yani mesela kahraman Maraş'a İtalya'da iken tam bilgi koyuyor, tamam. fotoğraf koyuyor. Tamam. Ama e, koyduğu bilgi yanlış veya o resim değişmiş 2015'te de gibi. Bunun bir alakası yok yani şu an. Resim i̇şte resim, resim ama yani seçenek oluyor ya. Fotoğraf mı yanlış? Fotoğraf, yani. fotoğraf. Fotoğrafla bilgi uyuşmuyor. Ha, yani ha, adam yerli, yani bir etiketi bir doğru. Ha. Her şey doğru. Çatlar yerine gelmiş ama resim yanlış. Çünkü resmi göremez ki. İtalya'daki adam Maraş'ın resmi nereden görecek? Tam ben yani şeyi anlamadım. Hangisinin yanlış olduğu? Sayfa var. Evet. E, sayfada bir fotoğraf var. Tabii bir fotoğraf var. Ha, adam 2015'te çekmiş tamam. gitmiş. İtalya'ya gitmiş. Doğru ama evet. fotoğraf yanlış. Fotoğraf yanlış. Sorry. We didn't we didn't understand each other. Take your time. Don't worry. Well, I think you talk about Turkish Wikipedia, yeah? So, uh, for now, image uh, recommendation is not working in Turkish Wikipedia, no. so it's not depend on, like, SDO, like, image suggestions. So, what you are talking about, it's maybe caused because someone think that this image is correct and add in the article. But it's not depend on image yes. suggestion tool, because it's not working in Turkish I, I can confirm... Turkish Wikipedia is not yet uh, able to do image suggestions because it's only Portuguese, Russian. Indonesian, and Russian, yeah. and uh, it's not uh, between the five new communities. So, but what I said is that if you are interested in that, we can talk about it, and Turkish Wikipedia can join us to test. But right now, image suggestion is not on Turkish Wikipedia. So. I don't know what's happening. Uh, it's probably again a user that thinks an image is okay and it's not. This happens. I mean. This yeah. This is a this is a question that I don't know. Uh, Uh, I will take the uh, I will take the question to the team, and I will let you know as soon as possible through McMahon or someone from the from the organization. Th that one I really don't know. <laughs> so, any more questions, ideas, comments, whatever? Okay, so I can move on to the last part of my presentation, which is like the last two or three minutes, because I don't have much to say about section topics, except that this is the third, um, this is our third goal as a structured data uh, project team. So uh, what we are going to try to do in in the in this uh, in this months that uh, we still have to work is to identify sections in articles and create topics for these sections so this algorithm will use the the text the blue links the the links that are already in the text and extrapolate the wikidata items from those links say It's something about a poet so, uh, or, or a politician, and you have um, a paragraph saying he studied at University X. University X will have a link. They will take out that link as a topic and say, okay, it talks about this. So... What we're going so this is this is the first part. So we're trying to work on the links that are already in the text to f to find topics that the article is about. What we are trying to do is actually try to generate again w image suggestions, but on a section level. What I showed you until now, it's image suggestions for the whole article for all of the article, and it's just one image. We, we have an article, we don't have an image. Hey, that's a suggestion for Im illustrating the first image. But what we are trying to do, in addition to this, is actually to try to get, uh, to get an image for every section. And that's another part that might sound bad to some Wikipedians, but I can explain. 
it's not what it seems. Uh, we are trying also to get topics to get better results on external search engines. Right now, I only talked about our internal search engines, about how we are trying to make it better for us. Because I can say that, as a Wikipedian in 16 years, our search engine doesn't work better most of the time. doesn't work very well most of the time. So we are trying to improve that in order to make it better and to make people find what they want on our search engines. Section topic will also help finding uh, content in other search engines like Google or Yahoo or Ask or whatever. So this is the status right now. It's still being developed. The algorithm is still being developed and we are still working on all the, all the architecture. It's okay. I'm basically finished. So we can also have a bit, uh, uh, we can have a little bit of a chat or we can go just uh, take a coffee and a tea. So uh, as I said, the, the, the algorithm is still being developed and we are still working on the, uh, on the data architecture, on the requirements and all these kind of things. So basically about section topics, I can only tell you that we are still working on this, that we want to do this and we are at a good point right now. But other than that, I can only tell you that the very first prototype of section topic will start next year, by beginning of next year, hopefully by January, but that's, that's about it, basically. So, uh, before the last slide, if you have, I, I see, I sense, my, my, my superpowers tell me that there is a question. Was it was that good of a joke? Seriously? Şimdi örnek olarak Ayasofya Camii'yi vermek istiyorum. Mesela ben Ayasofya Camii'sinin yukarıdan çekilmiş bir görüntü. For example, I want to give an example for Hagia Sophia. I want to see a photo from behind, like on top of the Hagia Sophia Museum right now. But for the photo, Hagia Sophia's photo, I see that there is a photo from out from the side, and I see that photo on Wiki, Wikipedia. So four or five images, kind of a video clip can be done actually I wanted to ask about it I don't know how to say it like you know the, the options are coming in a random way so the, maybe we should have options and we should have the best option for that of course it depends from person to person but it shouldn't be randomized it should be randomized or not uh, among the several things because for example uh, if there is high Sophia um, mm -hmm. uh, uh, he wants to sit, pick the one from uh, uh, top uh, but not from the right but if he selects randomly this uh, the, uh, the suggestion comes up and he selects it he I, will see. Be set. <laughs> I see I, I see the point it is actually a good suggestion and I will try to make it uh, to, uh, to tell that to the team so but yeah, but unfortunately, unfortunately, it's just random. So. Yani. Şimdi daha önceden sadece görüntü kullanılıyordu sosyal medya nasıl diyeyim avatarlarında. Şimdi artık hareketli görüntü kullanılıyor. Birkaç tane görüntüyü video klip şeklinde, akar şeklinde üç dört tane görüntü peş peşe gelerek onu kullanabiliyorlar artık avatarda. Belki böyle bir e, algoritma mı olur veyahut da böyle bir çalışma mı olur veyahut da bir video dosyası mı olur? Hayır hayır yani yok canım yani görüntü yani Ayasofya'nın dört tane görüntüsü güzel bir görüntüsünü e, akan bir fotoğraf... E, 
So there have been some improvements over the ages. Right now, people are really engaging with images. So the visualization is very important. So maybe we can have many photos from many angles, so it would make more interest. To make easy our work on uh, commons or uh, Wikipedia. Oh, Wikipedia. But uh, by adding such uh, additional things, will make it not so easy mm. to make uh, our edits, I think. So this version, your version is okay, I think. Okay. But adding such uh, adding additional things okay. will uh, confuse users, I think. I sense that there is a debate. <laughs> so, uh, but thank you. Uh, so, I will talk to the to the team anyway because usually I bring to the team all the feedback that I get, especially except when they tell me rude things. But uh, that's another thing. But this, uh, so uh, I will try to let you know about this. And uh, but I cannot promise anything. This adding, uh, what is this? Uh, that's that's that's the point of uh, of the other. Hmm? I don't want to. I want. <laughs> But uh, that's the point. Unfortunately, it, the, the, the tool is, has been created just to have one pair of, of image and to make it easier for people to add images. If we give them too many options, as the other user said, it might get more complicated and people will not add image or having a... So I, I, I, I kind of see your point. I see your point. And it's, I, I think it's a good idea, but what is actually the idea of the, of the team is to make it as simple as possible. And you have to make a decision at one point. So unfortunately, it's, it's going, I, I think it's going to, to stay random. The only photograph will compromise. <laughs> you, as an experienced user, when you get that one suggestion, click on the file, see the category on commons, and look around. Exactly. You can do that. Doğru, doğru fotoğraf için 10 saniye fazla harcamaya razıyım. He, he is uh, okay for um, spending more time. To yeah, that's that's fine. That, I give you 10 seconds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's the point. That's the point. Uh, if if the image the, if the image suggestion doesn't work, you can say no. But then uh, again, you can spend the le- the, another ten minutes to find the, the correct one. I would do that. <laughs> I, I, I I did that a lot of time. I I wasn't suppo- I wasn't okay with some with some article, and I edited it because it was like no, it's it's bad. I want show round the music. Exactly. I know, but. I know, but that's that's the point. That that's the whole point about the tool. It's a uh, it's for people who ha- doesn't have much time. Okay. So, last question, last last slide. So, if you want to know more about this project, you have the link to Media Search or our project page. Uh, thanks to Mehman, all the project pages are translated to Russian, not yet to Turkish. Sorry, but uh, for, since we had to test it on Russian Wikipedia, of course, all the instructions are also in Russian because uh, they, they needed to know what, what was going on. If Turkish Wikipedia or Bashkir Wikipedia, Kyrgyz Wikipedia, and so on and so forth, if you want to join our efforts to test image suggestions, please let me know. I'm, I'm here also tomorrow, so just tap on my on my shoulder or wave me from from distance and i will get it i, I will get the message uh, and then of course you can contact me either by email or by on on mediawiki or well whatever i mean the, the the username is that one i'm done thank you very much thank you very much and thank you